Hi, how are you doing? Welcome to Elemental Mirror Podcast. It feels good to sit down and chat with you. There has been a lot going on in my family life and just different awful, awful situations going on for some of my family. So it has been a highly intense few months, maybe even a few years to be fair. And yeah, it's just a lot going on. So I feel to kind of just sit down and chat with you guys about life because sometimes when we're on the spiritual path and to be honest I'm literally just winging this video I have no idea what it's gonna be but sometimes when you're like researching spiritual topics and metaphysics and mysticism and stuff like there's a lot of positive things and there's a lot of things that I talk about in terms of shadow work and emotional regulation and all of that stuff but Sometimes when you're just in the thick of reality, I feel like it's a reality check, a reality check. Like, I feel like I've had a bit of a reality check lately in terms of the fact that some things just happen and like, we can try and analyse the reasons and, you know, try and find the meaning and try and figure it all out and stuff, but sometimes just bad things happen you know and like yeah I'm sure there are certain reasons for certain things but at the same time there are other things that just happen <laughs> I don't even know if this if that made any sense at all but like I just feel like I've had a bit of a um like slap back into humanity for a second with some negative like really heartbreaking situations that have been going on in my private life and even though it's not happening like directly to me it's still ugh, just I don't even know how to put anything into words to be honest but like I just think sometimes things happen to people that they don't deserve you know like things that just shouldn't happen and that shouldn't even exist like how how does that exist in fact that is a phrase that my mum would say to me all the time is like when we would talk about religion when I was younger she'd be like how could there be a god when so many awful things happen to people and like I feel like that is what I'm kind of just pondering on lately is like how and why and like what is the need for this do you know what I mean like th there isn't one <laughs> you know like there's just certain things that just should not happen and just should not exist and like I wish I could just remove it and just prevent it all but we can't you know and like I know life can just be hard and it can be heartbreaking and it can be devastating and just horrific you know and I was planning on filming videos and I've been a little bit like um like not writer's block what's it called like inspiration block creative block where I couldn't think of what to even film because there's just like far more important things going on in the world you know like just people are going through it and what can I possibly say what could I sit here and say that's really gonna like matter or make a difference or I don't know I'm just feeling a bit like I guess overwhelmed with things that are happening and yeah just different situations that are really hard to navigate and my whole thing with this podcast and with just in my journal and stuff is like trying to navigate life and trying to navigate our emotions and you know like trying to create the life that we want and just you know navigate everything basically and it's like I feel I feel a bit stuck with this it's like I don't actually know how to navigate this like some situations are just too difficult and too heartbreaking and just too far beyond what anyone should ever have to go through that I don't even know what to say or like have the words to make it better you know and I'm actually learning that that's okay that like 
you can be on this path of trying to understand life and trying to make things better for yourself but there are going to be some situations and maybe some past traumas that you've been through where like no matter how much time you spend analyzing it and looking at who did what wrong and how you could have done things better or how the situation could have been avoided or whatever like there's some things that you just didn't deserve there's some things that just should never have happened and that we could perceive as being wrong or bad or cruel or whatever else like sometimes there's just no point over analyzing it because you're always going to come back to the same thing of like I don't like this and this isn't what I want and this isn't what I deserve or this isn't what should have happened but it has you know and now it's like okay we have to accept it and then it's like well I don't want to accept it because (laughs) this shouldn't happen so like why do we need to accept something that we don't want you know like I don't know, I just think sometimes we can get into major mind games and like overthinking everything and then you're kind of out of your body and then you're not really processing your emotions but at the same time sometimes it's beneficial to go off in your mind and kind of get out of your body for a minute you know and just like explore the possibilities and look at what happened and why and all of that stuff like I don't know I feel like I'm rambling right now but I'm just really starting to um just see life from like a core painful fucked up perspective that I'd not experienced myself and even though I have been through some things that were pretty bad but like not to that degree you know and I just I can't begin to grasp or comprehend how people get through them you know and like this is the only thing I can think of to even share and like put this message out there in the hopes that it helps somebody in the hopes that like you're just validated for being where you're at you know like we're not trying to fix you we're not trying to make it better or change anything we're simply accepting that this is where you're at like that this actually happened and that we don't want it to happen we don't want it to exist but it does and even though that's awful and even though you don't want it to be there and even though like maybe you feel like it's a part of you or a thing that's a part of you that you don't want to exist or a pain that you don't want to exist like just acknowledging and validating that and you know like this message is to say that I see you and I hear you and I I understand and that's okay you know like it's okay for you to be in that space where you're rejecting the pain or the pain is just too intense to even want to look at or maybe you're right in the face of it like maybe you're fully looking at it and it feels like it's breaking you and you don't know how to handle it and this is again to say like I understand and you're not alone with it and there's a lot of people that go through things like this or things that feel just as painful as this and things that shouldn't happen and things that nobody wants to happen but they've happened and you're not alone and I hear you and it's just like it's just a heavy weight isn't it really and yeah I don't know how to navigate it and I don't have the answers for you but what I do feel like I have is um I guess the willingness to try and like the willingness to explore it and to look for the answers and to hope that we can find the possibilities together you know and yeah it's just honestly I want to pull some cards and just see what comes through and hope that this helps whoever needs to hear it but if it doesn't resonate obviously just skip it fast forward leave the video whatever you want to do but yeah this is a message to the 
core of pain you know because there is a lot of it in this world and I have filmed several videos already about like um genocide and you know like the worst of the worst types of experiences that you can imagine and yeah I feel like it's because it's not something I've been through it's not something that I have first-hand experience in but I can definitely emphasize and um did I just say emphasize empathize oh my god English language is just <laughs> ridiculous but yeah I can definitely um try to put myself in other people's shoes and stuff but the main thing here is just whatever this message needs to be is what I want it to be and the card that's come through is transformation things are changing at a cellular level deep healing <laughs> oh wow and the bottom of the deck unbound releasing soul patterns contracts and past lives and see this is where I always go whenever it comes to any kind of difficult situation my mind always goes to soul contracts past lives karmic cycles like trying to um get the higher perspective to make it feel less uh suffocating and less human less like caged in and to get the bigger perspective and to try and like open your mind and you know this is what i do for myself and like it's been so helpful in one sense because it it stops me from like shrinking into human problems and makes me realize like oh my god life is so much bigger than this and I am so much more powerful than this you know like I'm a soul in a vessel but then what I've realized through witnessing other people's traumatic experiences that are just so human I'm like okay but we can't spiritually bypass you know and I think maybe that's what I was doing in on one level is like avoiding the real human pain of it all you know because going to that higher perspective like it kind of takes you out of your body in a way and stops you from experiencing the full level of the pain and actually what this is, is a deep cellular transformation because anything that we feel, any experience that we go through, we know um, through what science teaches us that it affects you and literally changes your DNA, like on a DNA level, we can change our DNA through our minds and through our experiences, like sometimes trauma literally rewrites your DNA, but you can also do it consciously through your thoughts. <sighs> like... This is just such a transformational experience, everything that you go through, whether it's really painful or whether it's really positive. But that doesn't mean it's easy and that doesn't even mean that it's an experience that you want to have, you know? Like, yeah, there's fun transformation. Yeah, there's transformation where you get to, you know, manifest your dreams and change your life. But there's also painful painful experiences that can bring about the most incredible transformation and it can bring about like it can bring about all your wildest dreams you know it can lead to incredible manifestations afterwards but sometimes people end up going through horrific experiences and situations before they get there and I personally feel like that should not need to happen like we should not need to go through suffering in order to get the things that we want and I'm not saying that these situations are happening so you can get what you want because that's not it like but obviously every situation can be used by yourself to get you where you want like you can turn a negative into a positive definitely but there's so many situations where it just to me it just shouldn't happen you know, like it just shouldn't be a thing. It shouldn't exist. You shouldn't have to go through that level of suffering, regardless of what the outcome will be, regardless of how positive something in the future could be. Like, I want to go through joy to get there. Like, I want it to be joyful. I want to learn through joy. I want to learn through excitement. I don't want to learn through pain and suffering. And so many people 
are experiencing that and this is not even about them learning through it because obviously everybody's experience is different or whatever and everybody's path and whatever they want to do is completely different but I just oh, I'm just tired do you know what I mean and it's not even me going through these things and I'm tired just witnessing it so I can't imagine I can't even begin to imagine the level of heartache and just deep core pain and it makes me understand why people want to distract themselves and you know use different vices to escape reality because I mean who would who wouldn't you know when it's that painful who wouldn't want to do that you know it's just oh, I wish I could literally just remove it all for you to be honest but yeah so this is I don't know what this is <laughs> honestly I just feel so like such intense energy that I don't even know what to do with myself and I don't know what to do with it and I just have been feeling called to film for a while and I didn't know what to say and then I just thought you know what we're not even going to have a title ready we're not even going to have anything we're literally just going to wing this and see what comes out Oh, and we're going to keep on going. Star mother. How can you mother yourself? <laughs> so, through this intense pain, through the uncomfortableness, through the complete despair, through the powerlessness, through the intensity and the chaos and through the unknown because let's face it a lot of these painful situations a lot of these things can be unexpected they can be so unknown and trying to navigate it trying to even take the first step can be really unclear and foggy and just devastating you know so what this card is saying to me and it's kind of right on time to be honest is how can you mother yourself like in order to get through anything even in terms of like the first step and a baby step or just like the simple things is to take care of yourself it's to nurture yourself it's to look after yourself and this isn't just about physical self-care this is about being kind to yourself this is about allowing yourself to be sad you know like this is about giving yourself grace and compassion because what you're going through is awful what you're going through is heartbreaking there are no words for some experiences to even you know like there's just no words so give yourself grace, allow yourself to be where you're at, like, you are allowed to be in pain, you are allowed to feel whatever it is that you feel, whatever comes up for you in any moment at all, in fact, no matter what you're going through, even when you're going through positive things, like, you are allowed to feel however you feel, and that is okay, and we don't need to change you, or fix you, or mold you, or, you know, like, there's nothing wrong with you, whatever you're feeling and I said this to somebody in my family not that long ago like how you're reacting how you're feeling is a normal normal reaction to a painful experience like there's nothing wrong with you you're not doing anything wrong you feeling sad or angry or anything else is a natural normal reaction to trauma and that's not something that you need to fix or change you know like you're allowed to be sad you're allowed to be angry you're allowed to be where you're at because what you're going through is heartbreaking and is difficult and shouldn't happen you know like anybody in your shoes would feel that too everybody would struggle because it's hard and it's difficult and it's painful and most people could not even comprehend or grasp the level of suffering and pain that you're experiencing right now so give yourself grace and compassion because you deserve it and you don't deserve whatever is happening to you or whatever has happened to you in the past you know like Oh, go easy on yourself while you try and figure out how to get through this and it can take years you know this this may never go away this may be a lifelong thing that you live with 
And so you deserve to have all of the comfort and all of the compassion and all of the cuddles that you could possibly muster for yourself and from your loved ones, you know, because oh, I just like some people are just so incredibly strong and so incredibly brave and they shouldn't have to be, you know, like it shouldn't be something that you ever have to do or ever had to experience. So you should really be not only proud of yourself, but just kind to yourself because you're doing your best, you know, and whether that's you fall into the floor and not being able to get out of bed or whether that's you in complete survival mode distracting yourself whatever it is however you're learning to cope right now just give yourself a bit of grace and a bit of compassion because you're doing your best you know and it's okay to be where you're at and just holding that space for yourself will allow you to relieve the pressure so that eventually you'll get to the point where you're able to make those changes and adjustments whenever you feel ready to or whatever it is that you feel like you need to change in the future to get to where you want to be or you know if you feel like whatever coping mechanism you're using isn't working for you further down the line you'll be able to make those changes but you're not going to be able to get there if you keep like being mean to yourself and punishing yourself and shaming yourself and you know like just being hard on yourself because you're in such a difficult space right now you know so just a little bit more compassion and grace and this is me offering it to you as well like you're doing your best and that is more than enough and even if it doesn't feel like you're doing your best you are and that is okay like whatever you're at is okay and you don't need to shame or punish or force anything you know this is a journey and there's no rush to get out of this right now you know like you're allowed to be where you're at in this pain and that is okay even if you don't want to be in it because I can definitely understand that too. Like maybe you don't even want to feel it right now. And that is completely okay. Because who the hell wants to feel it? Nobody. Quite literally, nobody. Let me just pick up this card. Oh. Oh, we have the nine of pentacles in reverse. So I'm sort of feeling like this is self-worth and value and loving yourself maybe you're not loving yourself maybe you need to love yourself a bit more um, oh we have the five of swords so what came to me was that this could actually be about your own thoughts not necessarily somebody else but maybe there's other people that you need to cut off or other people that are being mean to you and judgmental and putting you down not valuing you but this could also be your own thoughts it could be your own mind playing tricks on you or it could even be how you perceive the experience that you went through you know like whatever trauma you've been through maybe you view it as you deserve in it or you know like punishing yourself for it or viewing it as like a god type of punishment looking down on you and what i want to say to you is hell to the fuck no that is not it <laughs> but of course however you feel is completely valid and there's no shame in feeling that way either but you do not deserve pain like nobody deserves pain nobody deserves to suffer nobody deserves to go through traumatic experiences you know so I don't believe that to be the case anyway and I just really feel like this is more about having some love towards yourself and being kind towards yourself and trying to nurture yourself through this process because you know there's no time limit on this we don't know how long it's going to take and maybe the situation's not even fully resolved for you like maybe you're still in the thick of it and still trying to get through it so you especially need more love and support and love from your family and your friends and everything as well and just be kinder to yourself you know like oh when we're in this space obviously you're not going to be looking at all of the blessings and all of the incredible things that are in your life because you're dealing with such intense emotions that there's no room to see that right now you know so even though those things possibly are there it's okay if you're not looking at it right now and instead maybe what you could do is look at yourself and 
look at your worth and your value of the fact that you are a soul in a vessel and the fact that you do exist and the fact that you came here to be human and you came here to explore life and that you didn't deserve whatever it is that you're going through and that it's going to be okay you know like no matter what happens next no matter how it unfolds no matter what direction things go in it's going to be okay like you're going to be okay eventually you know even if it doesn't feel like it right now you will be okay things will get better and no it doesn't undo what's happened no it doesn't change it no it doesn't replace it no it doesn't fix it not at all but you will be able to breathe a little you know like eventually one day you will be able to think about something else for a split second before your thoughts go back to this pain you know like gradually things will lighten a little bit maybe hopefully that's what i hope for you anyway but i'm gonna just shuffle again for another bit of clarity of what what do you need let's ask what do they need more of or need to hear what is the message what do they need right now on top of a little bit of love and a little bit of compassion and a little bit of support <laughs> leap that is not the card i expected and i think there's two stuck together leap you go first the universe will catch you trust the niggle what is the niggle what is the niggling feeling trying to tell you <laughs> wow that's such a like um out there message considering we're talking about such deep pain but yet the cards that come through is like listen to your intuition and take the leap <laughs> and i'm here talking about like you can just sit where you're at if you want to <laughs> but apparently the universe is actually trying to get you to move forward so this message might not be for everybody but Maybe some of you, there's an intuitive nudge there, something that you know in your heart of hearts you want to do, or maybe it's even more about the like being kind to yourself message. Like some of you will know that there's something that you could be doing or something that you need, something that will help you and support you. And this message here is telling you to leap, to take this, the jump and go for it and trust in it, you know? because you already know <laughs> bottom of the deck align your life what is not aligned or needs to change so yeah I really feel like this is completely saying that some of you already know the next step some of you know what you need some of you know where you're going or you're aware of things that are not supportive of your healing you're aware of things that maybe are distracting you or helping you escape maybe some of your coping mechanisms are like you're done with them now or you just have that niggling feeling like I know I shouldn't be doing this but I can't help myself because this is just too painful you know like you're being called to look at what's in alignment with you and what's not look at what you want moving forward and what you don't or even just what's going to help you to cope with this pain what's going to help you to be with it what's going to help you to stop resisting it what's going to stop you from running away you know like what's going to allow you to be in your body what's going to get you out of your mind and out of overthinking and out of despair what's going to bring you back into your body and allow you to grieve what's going to allow you to feel what's going to allow you to be in that pain and to allow it to exist so that it has the room to release on its own what's going to allow you to stop resisting your own suffering because the resistance makes us suffer even more you know and some of you will have that niggling feeling already and some of you may need to just explore that like maybe this is the uh, shadow work type of prompt coming up for you now of like let's explore this let's look and see what kind of things can we be doing now like what do we want what's gonna help us because you can't really take the leap if you don't know what you actually need you know so 
what is it that you need? And it could be the most simplest thing. It could be that like I could really do with going to see my friends right now and like I'm too scared to reach out to them or you know like it could be something small or something simple but just what do you need what's going to support you on this journey what's going to help you be able to handle this pain in the most compassionate and self-loving way and that might be a difficult question for you like that might not be something that you can answer straight away maybe it's not something you've even thought about but I feel like this message is to explore that and to, you know, have a look and see what you can do for yourself. See what you need because nobody should have to go through this type of pain full stop. But nobody nobody should especially have to go through it alone. Nobody should have to go through anything like this anyway. But nobody should have to struggle and you know, carry this full burden by themselves. So I really, really hope that this encourages you to reach out to people and to be kinder to yourself, but also look to people that are kind to you. Look to people that help you. Look to people that are a comfort and support system and not enmeshment and, you know, like trauma bonds and all of that stuff. Like look to people that actually have your best interests at heart but also looking at your own best interests like looking at your own intentions towards yourself and your own intentions towards your life and what you need and what you want you know yeah I just feel like this is a um, self-loving kind of message to be honest and I really really hope this helped I hope that you just do a bit more self-care you know take take some time to just pour into yourself in whatever method and form that looks like for you but just take that time to nurture yourself a little bit more because this is a journey and you know you're gonna have to take it baby steps because nobody can leap to step 10 when you're in that much pain and despair and heartache you know so go easy on yourself while you navigate this and you can definitely whatsapp me my number is down below as well if you want somebody to speak to like you're not alone with this and I really really am sending you virtual hugs and I hope that you are doing okay and yeah I think that is the message for now and I will see you in the next episode thank you so much for watching everything about me is in the description box below and yeah I'm sending you lots of love and lots of hugs and I will see you in the next episode take care bye